right, guys. In this video, you're going to hear me say something I thought I would never say. This Ruger American is trash. You guys have seen me do Ruger Americans time and time again. We're not sponsored by them, but I have bought too many Ruger Americans to count. And I've suggested them to a bunch of you guys just simply because I have had a lot of really good success out of them. Regardless of them being one of the cheapest Bulat slingers you can get out there. Um, yeah, I've even made a video that's got a bunch of views that says why Ruger Americans are the best. And a, a highlight reel of a bunch of pretty much same whole groups out of a bunch of my Ruger Americans. Well, I finally find one, found one um, that I didn't like. And quite honestly, I think it's trash. Uh, but just watch the video and you'll see what I'm talking about. Hey, everybody. How you doing? This is about to be a really fun video, I hope. So this is my second video of the Ruger American in 7mm PRC. If you watched the first video, you would have seen me sighted in with this stuff. So seven millimeter PRC is still pretty new. There are not very many factory options when it comes to blue lots. And uh, I sighted it in with these 175 grain ELDXs because that's what I have the most of. Um, long story short, not grouping well at all. Like not even remotely well out of this Ruger, which you guys know I'm a big Ruger American fan, but I have got some of the match. It's a little bit heavier, 180 grain. Really high BC on this stuff. I don't know what it is because it's not on the box, but I'll pop it up on the screen right here. Uh, we've done some ballistic charts with this stuff. Definitely impressed with the ballistics, but if it doesn't group, then the uh, ballistics um, advantage isn't really worth anything to us, is it? But um, this is gonna be a quick video. We're not muddling around. If you wanna see the video where I cited this in, go check that out, a little bit longer of a video. This one, I'm going to 100 yards with both of these. We're gonna group it. I'm gonna speed up the edit so all you see is the hits. We're gonna measure it with the calipers and then I'll be back here to talk at you. Gonna make this a quick one. This is again, Ruger American Go Wild in seven millimeter PRC. I've got a really nice black hound on top. It's an Evolve five to 25. If you're watching this video shortly after it got released, 55% off all Blackout Optics. You definitely need to go check them out. Check out down below how to do that 55% off. And on the end, I've got my Silencer Central Banish 30 Gold Shusher Machine. But let's go fling them. Like I said, I'm gonna speed it up. This is gonna be a quick one. But we gotta do our due diligence. Try this stuff out. Uh, see if it'll group something good. So far, I'm not impressed with it, kind of bummed out. Group testing, Ruger American, seven millimeter PRC. About to do a bunch of flinging, and then we'll measure the groups. I'm just gonna edit it all up real fast here and make this a quick video. First trials, I'm gonna do the ELD 180 grainers. I'm gonna send six without letting it cool. Then I'll do six of the uh, ELDX. And we'll just talk about the groups and see how we did measure them with the calipers. But first, two groups of the 180 grain match. Remember, we're not going for bullseyes, we're going for groups. So far, it's grouping decently. Huh. So far, that's under an inch group. That's better than, that's the best group I've done out of this thing. So maybe it's not trash after all. Let's do another group. Uh, so with the ELDX, we'll measure them, but it looks like both of those will probably come in around an inch group. Huh? We're gonna let it cool. Then we're gonna do the 175 grain ELDX next. Back again, we let it cool. <sighs> and we're gonna do same two groups of three with the 175 grain ELDX. Uh, I've done some testing with this stuff in the past and this thing didn't like it, but the more data you get, the better. So I'm just gonna edit real fast here. Two separate groups of this stuff. We'll see how it does.
All right, so similarly to my first trials with this thing, uh, this thing does not like the ELDX. That's almost a three inch group. That's embarrassing with anything. Uh, the match, it looks like it's doing under an inch, but let's send three more of these ELDXs. See, now there's too close. Just for giggles, I'm gonna send a fourth on that last target and I'll mark it. That one was the uppermost. I'll make a note on it, but still, that makes it a four inch group or five inch group. Absolutely terrible, uh, not impressed. Let's measure those groups and I'll meet you back. Okay guys, I told you I was gonna keep this to a short video, so let's look at the results and then I'm gonna go on a rant, okay? So check this out. So, in my previous video, when I sighted this thing in, I used the ELDX 175 grain. These were the two three-shot groups that I got, a two-inch group and a 1.6-inch group. I'm not gonna get into my rant yet. Let's just look at the results. So then, um, I said, well, we have to do deeper testing. That's not good enough, okay? Um, so I did bring out the 180 grain ELDXs. This, these are the measurements for that. A 0.78, did I just say ELDX? These are the ELD 180 grain matches. A 0.78 inch, two touching. In most people's books, that's pretty okay. In my book, that's borderline not that great. Pretty good. Borderline not that great. I'm not going to take a picture of this and send it to my friends and say, oh my goodness, look at how awesome that is. But it's in the acceptable range. Then was able to duplicate it. Got a 0 .80. So very repeatable with that 180 grain ELD match stuff out of that Ruger American 7mm PRC. This is with the match ammo. When I sighted it in and it did garbage groups, everybody gave me a thousand reasons on how I was a terrible Bulat slinger and I didn't know what I was doing. Well, um, I'm not I, I'm not gonna get into the rant yet. I'm kinda kinda heated here tonight, guys. We just had the video come out where I sighted it in as I'm filming this. And y'all are talking to me like I'm a 10 year old kid who's never flung a bull out before. So again, the ELDX is right. That got the 1.6 and the 1.8 inch group when I sighted it in. Well, in this video, it did even worse. 175 grain ELDX Precision Hunters, 2.46 and uh, 3.68. So. This is the results, guys. The Ruger, hey, it does acceptable with the match stuff. 180 grain ELDs match. It does acceptable. Repeatable data, 0.78, 0 0.80 inch groups. Same. This is the point to show you, hey, this guy uh, kind of knows what he's doing. The scope's not off. The Shusher machine's not messing it up. That Ruger American just doesn't like the ELDX guys. 3.6 inch group, 2.46 inch group. A two inch group, a 1.6 inch group. Oh my goodness. So, like I said, this is not my first rodeo guys. I've got over 2,000 videos on the interwebs. And just because I got 2,000 videos on the interwebs, that doesn't mean that I know what I'm talking about. But I do have many, many, many videos, more videos than I can remember, doing sub half MOA groups. The comments on the video where I cited this thing in are hilarious. Go, go look at it. Everybody wanted to complain. Oh, you got to take that can off of it. The can is, is what's messing you up. You need to do it with the brake and then do it without the brake. The, the can is what's trashing you. No. 
The can is not what's trashing me. It does point, point 0.8 and point 0.7 inch groups with the can on it. This Ruger American does not like the hunting boulots. Uh, I did have one guy on the original video that said his does like the precision hunter stuff. And I actually had a second guy that said his liked the precision hunter stuff after he sent 40 rounds of precision hunter through it. But you guys are chewing me up in the video where I cited this in. Uh, people said, oh, bipods. The, the bipods are the problem. Bipods are the problem. Again, bipod is not the problem. Uh, uh, that's what professional uh, blue light slingers use is bipods. And again, I've got videos using this same bipod. This same bipod is what I use on my other 7mm PRC, which is right here. This is my other 7mm PRC that gets 0.4 inch groups with the same blue lights when I used this same bipod. So... Uh, you guys that hate bipods, that's not the problem. Um, and there, people said, oh, it's your table. We've been using that same table for years, getting same whole groups. Um, but yeah, but just just for all the crybabies out there. Uh, and again, I'm the world's biggest Ruger American fan, but I really don't care if it likes... The match. I would use this for long range hunting and I wouldn't use the match bullet for hunting. So if, if it if it does this at a hundred yards with the only hunting ammo that's out there, this is a piece of junk to me. This is a paperweight to me. My Mossberg Patriot 7mm PRC, which was cheaper than this one does way better groups with both the match and the precision hunter so uh, here's what I'm gonna do for all you guys out there who want to complain um, and say that I'm a I'm just a terrible shot and I don't know what I'm gonna do I don't know what I'm doing I already retorked everything on this just for my own sanity and give it the benefit of the doubt. And that was before these terrible groups in this video. But here's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to do all that again. I'm going to recheck everything. Take it all apart. Put it all back together. We're going to do another video. Without the can on there. Um, which again. If it, if it doesn't group well with the can. I don't want it. But I understand if you're out there and you're saying, hey, try it without the can because I don't have a can and I want to see how it groups. That's a legitimate reason. But all the people saying out there that the can is making it have a terrible group, I don't buy it. And I'm going to do another video on that subject. Do cans screw up or improve your accuracy and precision? I will buy into it that it can to a certain extent. But a can is not going to give you a two inch group and an almost four inch group. Um, that's just that's just not a thing. Maybe in very extreme, extreme situations. But hey, that's the video, guys. More data on the Ruger American Go Wild and 7mm PRC. It does acceptable groups with the match, but terrible with the Precision Hunter hunting ammo. And that's just the facts, guys. Like I said, uh, I paid for this thing. I have no reason to lie to you. Um, and I am, again, the world's biggest Ruger American fan. I got a bunch of them. But this one has been a lemon to me. And you guys know I'm just a regular old dude. I turn the cameras on, and what happens, happens. That's one of the main things that sets this channel apart from almost everybody else on the internet or regular old people turning the cameras on and then just taking you to the range with us. Uh, but uh, everybody wants to say, oh, replace the stock and drop a different trigger in it and all this. Guys, 
this is a budget friendly rig. If I have to go spend another five, six hundred bucks on it, I'm gonna buy a rifle that costs twelve hundred dollars and not have to upgrade a cheapy cheap boo lot slinger, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna upgrade my Ruger American with five, six hundred dollar parts to make it fling the boo lots better. If it don't do good out of the box, to me, it's a piece of junk. If I have to alter it to make it do better, it's a piece of junk. But that's just how I roll. Very not happy. I would not even take a shot on a deer at 100 yards with this stuff so far. Uh, and I don't say that much. Uh, because normally, we can make it work somehow. We're testing 20 different types of ammo. But in this case, it's just not that much out there. Again, I'm not knocking on 7mm PRC. Um, but this Ruger American Go Wild that I bought does not group the, the hunting ammo worth anything. Uh, again, I have this Mossberg Patriot, which is even cheaper, that I can get 0.4 inch groups out of all day with both of the types of ammo that we tested. Uh, but that's it. No more ranting. Uh, I'm going to do another video for all the crybabies. We're going to do it from a lead sled. We're going to do with the can. We're going to do off of sandbags. We're going to do every single situation I can come up with and spend way too much money on ammo. This stuff's not cheap, guys. Uh, but hey, uh, I could only find one box of the match stuff. Uh, but we kind of proved that it likes it. So we're going to see what I can do. Clean it. Let it. We'll shoot one boo lot a day so it can cool. I had somebody tell me I didn't let it cool long enough. I let it cool for like 20 minutes and to where I could grab it and it barrel feels cold. How's that not cool enough? Uh, anyways, a little bit frosty tonight because a bunch of y'all ripping me in the comments, talking to me like I don't know what I'm doing. I never claim to be an expert. I will never tell you that I'm an expert. But I do have a lot of experience flinging these boo lots uh, in a bunch of these videos. Uh, that's why this is the second video, because we had to come back and test it again. Maybe I was just having a bad day on the first day. But we're going to keep on compiling the data. I'm not going to trash this stuff, so when we do an update video, we can have all the data and we'll average it out. And uh, it'll be super nerdy. Here's what we did off of bags. Here's what we did with the can. Here's what we did off the of lead sled. So on and so forth. Uh, you guys wanted to see it. Uh, so I'm going to film it for you. But hey, appreciate y'all watching. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have one of these. And if you do, how does yours do? There's not that many out there because I think they only made like a thousand so far. Uh, but appreciate y'all. Make sure you're subscribed. Uh, truly appreciate y'all watching. Appreciate y'all. We'll see y'all on the next one. Hoo-dee-hoo!